Welcome back, Game of Life. Welcome back, family. For my people just coming back that watched the first show, this part two, um, welcome back. To my new people, this is your first time seeing the show. This is the Game of Life, and I am your host, the real OG. This is where things get real, where we talk about community topics, health, wealth, and happiness. And we definitely want you all to be getting some um, health, wealth, and happiness um, and life. You know what I'm saying? Because life has winners and losers. And I hope you are on the winning side and not on the losing side. Um, if you're mad all the time, you're probably losing in life. Um, to my people out there in uh, the social media Y'all make sure y'all go out there and in social world <laughs> that's picking this up. Uh, y'all go to the networks. That's uh, S U N D I A L dot TV. Y'all go out there and check it out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 p.m. Uh, Fridays we do repeat. So if you didn't, didn't catch up on it, you can catch up on the show. For my people that's catching on the network, y'all get a chance to go catch up on shows. And my people out there that haven't caught up on the shows, Go to Sundial Networks. That's S U N D I A L, not networks on YouTube. Uh, Y'all push the video section and take you in. You can see all the past video, the shows that we had. You see some other stuff there. And um, y'all can get all caught up on everything. Um, here, we, we hope y'all being happy out there. Um, I, I did say I was the real OG, didn't I? And to my real, to my OG mamas and my people just cooling out out there, welcome back, welcome back. Sending love to everyone out there. If I got a few dogs and cats that's watching, what's up to you too? Um, we're going to get right back into um, the show. Um, and we're talking about mastering um, time. It's where mastering time is a is a funny thing because that clock is never going to stop ticking. I don't know what you're doing out there with your life, if you're wasting your time or you're putting it to good use. I really hope you're putting it to good use. Um, some people do have it all. Some people have great relationships. You know, some make good money. Some have, you know, excellent health healthy lifestyle um some have great business out there um we hope to be inspiring getting those people people out here into those you know my spaces and in various things um but on average most of the world are not in the top you know top earners the top winners the top bread uh earners and different things like that um so we want you to be learning how to um change your state of mind to build um great quality of life and and how do you how do you do that you know what i'm saying that's you know finding a, a good state of mind because that's what's going to do it I mean, as I spoke before about, you know, the people that go to the nursing homes and different stuff like that, when that get into that dementia, I mean, you really need to be trying to get them some, some, some H2O, getting them some water. I'm going to take me a little bit here. Getting them some water and, and different things, and air and walking around. And, and sometimes you can, you know, build that self back because, um, we get lost out here in the world, you know what I'm saying? And it's easy. And that's why keeping that healthy mindset and that, that healthy mind um, warmed up, <laughs> I guess to say, and, and moving, that's what's going to um, propel you, you know what I'm saying, into that greatness and just coming out of being just average, you know what I'm saying? Um, moment to moment, day by day. Our life is controlled by our state of mind. I mean, I really want y'all to bag up and, and really harness that, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not going to be in a happy mood all the time, you know? And hopefully you're not staying in some down, depressed mood also. 
You know what I'm saying? And and, and our way we feel and, and, and how we handle things day to day is going to change. But these are a decision that you can make. You know what I'm saying? These are choices that you can make. You know what I mean? On your own. As we talked about the state of the mind and different things like that. And we talk about it so we can get repetitive that hopefully you're being actively making these choices, you know, within yourself. You know what I'm saying? All of us can do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Some of us are psychologically imbalanced and you know, chemical things that's going on out there. But um, the majority of us can, you know, make those various choices. And hopefully we're encouraging you to, to make that those choices and, and, and being aware that, okay, this is, this is what it is. We all have different goals. We all got different dreams. My goals ain't the same as your dreams, and your dreams ain't the same as mine. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we become, you know, individuals that's how we see other hopefully we respect one another and each other's um time and place you know what i'm saying that they have you know what i'm saying and we get different things from different people it's like having that that grandmother you don't look at your grandmother like you look at your friend you know what i'm saying and hopefully you ain't looking at your grandfather like you looking at um your father or your uncle you know what i'm saying they have different lights you know that they're, they're, they're giving to you and um, hopefully you harnessing, you know, those um, spirits, you know what I'm saying? So really understanding that, okay, all of us are different in our own way. At the same time, all of us are pretty much the same because to have a healthy life, um, we are all driven by, you know, five to six different things. And as we talked about the psychopaths, um, a lot of times they just needed that love in their life. You know what I'm saying? They needed that real guidance in their life. Um, so understanding, like we talked about in the first show, about mastering the time. That, and and hopefully we understand where I'm coming from with this. You know what I'm saying? If you get a hold of this mind, that body, that soul, that spirit, then... You won't be looking back five years saying, if I had did something different, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be there, you know, like what. And I want you all to even just stop and really think, you know, about some of the choices and decisions that you may have made in the past. You know what I'm saying? How would you, what would you be and what could, could possibly be different, you know what I'm saying? Had you made different decisions and choices. Um, now... God made a set of laws that won't be broke. You know what I'm saying? That sun, I don't care what you do, you can't make that sun stop coming down when it's time for it to come down. Nor can you make it come up, come right back up when you want it to. You know what I mean? And, I mean, I'm not making this stuff up as I always say. You know? You all know these are truths. At the same time, we know these same truths exist within our life. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the world, I mean, God has laws and man has man-made laws. So you go to different um, parts of the country, parts of the world, they're doing one thing and it's okay and fine. And you go to another part of the country and they're not with that, which you may be doing over here in this part of the world. And yeah, God's laws is going to determine a lot of that stuff because, I mean... In Alaska, it stay cold, you know, for the most part. In the North Pole and over in Africa, it stay hot, you know what I mean? <laughs> so those regions, and ain't nothing you can do about that to change that. Now, when he decides to, you know, spin his world, and I know a lot of us out there um, don't believe in, you know, the God at all, you know what I'm saying? Because we have a lot of that going around in this world these days, but... I am a believer, you know what I'm saying, that there is a God and a higher power, you know. Now, like I said, we don't want to get on um, um, horizontal issues, you know. Like I said, all of us should be taking in um, our personal beliefs, our personal ideas, and harnessing that. But in order to have a, a good life, even with the time management, you have to be really living that. 
you know, if you're saying you this, and you're saying you that, and you're saying this your belief, then live by that belief. You know what I mean? Now, we hoping to have an open mind set so you can learn stuff to be the truth. Because that's how a lot of us are getting on these crazy autopilots and out here in La La Land and more or less wasting our life away. And don't get me wrong, have I said before and I'm going to say it again, I'm not trying to be those people's, you know, daddy that don't want nothing. I'm sure they already tuned out. I mean, they flipped on there <laughs> and said, oh, man, they trying to help me get myself to God. I ain't trying to do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, you know, manage my time. I'm trying to jack off my time as much as possible. I'm not trying to uh, be hearing no positive spirit stuff. Um Hey, each his own. If you like it, I love it. If you want to be doing this and you're not complaining about it, I don't have any problem with it, you know. Uh, but when you do get to complain, I, I, I generally have a problem with it. But back to those um, five or six things that j j drive most of us out here in the world. It's going to be that love, you know what I'm saying? And, and we all understand that, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying... For, Different people, these, you know, little things that drive us going to be different. But this applies all anywhere in the world, you know what I'm saying? We have a, a passion to want to, to have a contribution to the world, you know what I'm saying? Now, whether you, some of us are, and that's like a self-driven most of the time because people want to do their own thing or what they feel they have a passion for to contribute. But if you don't feel like you contribute in anything, then what are you feeling? You're feeling lost. You're feeling worthless. You have these people that have a slow, low self-esteem and feeling worthless. That's where that comes from because they're feeling like they don't have no contribution into the world. Um, some people's will be um, security and certainty. You know what I'm saying? That means you got to be sure that, okay, what I'm doing all of this, this it's an outcome. And we all know what security is. And that's feeling safe. In whatever environment we in, that's the brain working there because long, long times ago, <laughs> long, long, many years ago, um, this was a, I mean, it was a fearful place to be human out here in the, in the world because we didn't have the gunpowder and stuff like that where we was the baddest thing on the planet, you know what I'm saying? Because that gorilla, that... Uh, saber tooth tiger, that lion, <laughs> that bear. Yeah, those those were the baddest people on the planet at that particular time, you know what I'm saying? But when man, you know, figured out that, you know, hey, we can gang up and get some spears and they figured out that bow and arrow, they started becoming, you know, the top dog out here. And definitely once we came up with that gunpowder and came up with that that gun, you know what I'm saying? We start running those lions and tigers and bears and alligators and, and they start being aware, okay, who is these people? <laughs> you know, what is this, you know, here? But just understanding that, you know what I'm saying, that security, you know. every I don't care where you're at. There's a lot of places in the world that's still dealing with a lot of these different things. If you're in an um, industrialized area, um we're more fearful of one another, you know what I'm saying, and having that security. But even this vast security in our mindset of um, knowing, okay, I'm going to have food tomorrow and various things of that nature. When you don't have that, it instantly creates stability, instability. Now, um, having significance is the other one and understanding growth we all want to grow even when we're a little kid we want to get to less why i talk about people saying i want to get to number 10 and they don't even know it's a number 100 you know what i'm saying to get to and if i get you to 10 you can't get to 11 and 12 because you just skipped all the other ones that you need to be able to advance up you so the only thing you can do at that point is go down so that's a natural thing to want growth and understand it and and want it so have one love, being able to contribute, having security, um, growth, being significant, feeling like you somebody, and that's when we have a lot of that in our relationships, you know what I'm saying? 
And uncertainty is important because if you just knew this was going to happen this way, this, everything, then what? You're like, okay, I'm just going through it. So having that uncertainty, even the most confident people have a bit of uncertainty. When you hear them, that's the some of the best entertainers. They say, yeah, I still get them butterflies, you know what I'm saying, when I get ready to go out there and, 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 and do what we do. I mean, even me here on this show, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times I'm, I'm uncertain of, of certain things and I like to put myself in a position to push me out there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just speaking of myself, but this is all across the board, you know what I'm saying, of learning to be, um, having that, you know, fearless heart to, to go to it and even telling yourself that, you know what I'm saying? And, and once you've done it, you develop a little bit of security. And, um, but just understanding, understanding. Y'all got to make sure y'all understanding that, you know what I'm saying? These are real things that's all over, around the world. Now, why um, do we need these, you know, time management and, and I'm making the understanding that, hey, get yourself together because poverty is real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people here are living that. And there's a lot of people that's doing very well. Like I said, some people have it all. Some people got great relationship, making good money, health, lifestyle. Um, here right now, when we're making this, we're coming out the pandemic and um, the poverty level. Um, a lot of people have been raised up out of the poverty level from um, the pandemic situation because of the government giving out so much stuff, you know what I'm saying, and aid and different stuff like that. So we have a temporary um, benefits that's to kind of raise the poor up out of this. But getting out of that mindset of um, that poor mindset, in my, in, in my opinion, and I, I I know it to be true across the board, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to pull up a, a slide here in a minute just, you know, speaking to the poverty to um, help with, you know, understanding why you're trying to manage your time. Why are you trying to have a healthy state of mind? Why of these things that you need to get, you know what I'm saying, and, and get a grasp of, make it make sense you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of people out here that are in a bad situation you know what i'm saying and you don't have to be in this bad situation if you can get yourself together and help bring um a lot of us out of this uh generational curses you know as they would say now um i'm gonna pull up this quick slide because like i said the over a trillion dollars been spent on programs Within the past year, two years, or a year and a half, well, we just say two years, um, supporting mainly three different programs. And that's the stimulus checks, which all of us, I'm sure, love to get some extra free money. Um, but they sent that, you know, those, those checks out, the um, Trump administration and the Biden administration, um, the increase in the food stamps, and... Um, expanded uh unemployment insurance which then um actually helped a lot of us um come out of the um poverty level right now so the poverty level right now in the united states is at a all-time low but it's headed back to an all-time high now i was gonna pull this uh quick slide up just to um touch on a few points of uh what we got going out here and uh, just defining the poverty in the United States. The U.S., the poverty threshold is a level of income below which an individual or family cannot afford the basic necessities of life. For example, in 2021, a family of four living in the contiguous 48 states is considered to be in poverty if its annual income falls below $26,500. Now, that's for a family. That's not for an individual. And I guess, I mean, like they said, between what I know it had been at 10000 12000 was the poverty line. Um, that's saying a particular family. 
and um, we have a second slide here that I wanted to get. Um, what is the biggest cause of poverty in America? Some of the major causes of poverty with historical perspectives were noted as follow. The inability of poor households to invest in property ownership, limited poor education leading to fewer opportunities, limited access to credit, and in some cases creating more poverty via inherited poverty. And as they talking about the you know credit loans just keeping you on that cycle and um, on that treadmill that, that you need to get off of. And that's what I'm here trying to do, trying to get all of us off this treadmill, just getting our mindset together. And, you know, some of the stuff I don't agree with on there where they're saying, you know, and granted, they, you know, trying to do the best they can. And some of it is contradictory. Um, but definitely having the poor education is, is in my mindset, going to be, you know, one of the top, you know, leaders of, of, of keeping you there, you know what I'm saying, but also getting an understanding. At the same time, we have the education field doing programming and getting you into that self, you know, perpetuated state and not really kind of thinking for yourself, you know what I'm saying, they're doing the thinking for you, and that's what we have to be out here doing, you know what I'm saying. we got to be doing thinking for ourselves and knowing that um, you are, you know, a co-creator. God created the planet and put us here also as uh, co-creators to be able to um, come up with, with, with things and, and spirits and, and on and on with your life. So more or less, you have a choice and you can make decisions. Those choices and decisions that you make are, are going to help you or they're going to hinder you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but just touching on that, out of 13.7% of the total U.S. population, they live in poverty, 13.7%. So we have close to 40 million people living right at the poverty line, 40 million here in the United States, you know what I'm saying? And I've already spoke about almost more than half of the black um, community is living um, at that poverty level line, you know what I'm saying? So grasping that, this should mean more to you really understanding, getting yourself to a state um, to get your kids and, and your family and your community um, Moving, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times we we sitting here like we got, you know, to eternity, you know what I'm saying? To, to do something, to get ourselves together. And that's just not the case, you know what I'm saying? And, and we want to be living a good, healthy life, you know what I'm saying? While we, um, while we here, you know. It's a science. It's a science to make money, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we can tell you little various things you can do, and if you stay on these paths, you can reach um, monetary happiness, you know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to say happiness, <laughs> but you can reach a level of taking care of yourself and being secure that you got this coming in. Is I mean, you can do property, um, stocks, you can, you know, build a business, now, like I said before, 90% of businesses over most 10-year period fail. But that's a big question. Why? And it's back to that time management and having that state of mind of whoever is leading that particular business. You know what I'm saying? Being in that mindset and having a healthy spirit, putting into it and being emotional when they put that energy into whatever they're doing. When you're emotional about something... It's going to take a lot to to, to um, go up against it, you know what I mean? So having that mindset of that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can, science, we can obtain money. Um, finding happiness, that's um, a whole other type of skill, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody can't do that 
And we got a lot of people living their life, and that's why a lot of people go blow their brains out or take pills and different stuff like that because it's an appearance that they have something. They're seeking happiness. They're seeking purpose. And they really haven't came to terms with how or what's going to make them happy. You know what I'm saying? And as I said before, every one of us have different dreams, different um, fears also, and conquering our fears and, um, you know, believing in ourselves. A lot of times that don't be the case, you know. The mind is going to work, as I said. And it can, a lot of times it works against you and not for you. Um, you be going in circles and circles like that dog chasing his tail. You don't you don't want to be doing that, you know what I'm saying? So we want our people out here finding their internal assignment for what their life is and, 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 and what's going to make them happy out here. You, you have the... Um, your brain, you have to find that spirit inside of you to bring that out and bring those two things together so you can make the proper choices, the proper decision. Make sure you're spending your time wisely. Um, as we spoke before, things that really matter in life is uh, your health, your state of mind, having love in your heart, and giving that back. Now, hopefully this has been a, a healthy um conversation that I put out here, you know, for the love. We want you to be controlling and being in control of you, not turning into a slave to the world out here. Because we we know, you know, being a slave minded person, that's not a good thing. Um well they big gave me my one minute warning here that you know I, I, I felt like I had to continue to give out those good spirits. Um and hopefully y'all getting love out there hopefully i'm receiving love i feel the love coming through all these cameras here um to me to my haters y'all know what it is got to give them them one now y'all make sure y'all giving y'all haters some love because sometimes it may be a family member or somebody close to you that, that that's that's the hater you know what i'm saying so all the haters ain't uh on the same scale as they would say but a lot of times those haters, you know, they're your biggest fans. And uh, y'all make sure y'all showing them some love. Y'all make sure y'all call somebody out there and get them some love. Y'all make sure y'all drinking y'all water. Y'all at least, you know, walking around the block. Like I said, y'all don't have to turn into no um, pro athlete or anything. But, but, but please be being healthy out there. Um, it's the game of life. Sending love to y'all. Hopefully y'all sending love back to next time. Love. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band and also featuring tomorrow's future talent and star. Only on Sundial Networks. Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the live bands, open mic talent, we have a treat for you. Only on Sundial Networks. Every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the Flint area, please come to see the live tape at Blackstone, downtown Flint, every Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup, what happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial so Put us in your browser. S U N T I A L dot TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. High D dot TV. That's H I G H D dot TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local 
to a global web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.